Now that your work in the garden is coming to fruition, I know mine is just exploding with vegetables right now. It's time to find a good use for all of your bounty. Rebecca Coles shows us how her kale is booming. She has some tips for harvesting and using it in the kitchen. You know, it wasn't that long ago when we planted this garden, and look at it now. It is thriving. In fact, remember this kale? I planted it from seed, and now, God, it's just growing out of bounds. And not only does it look good in the garden, I also use kale in my flower garden as well. Not only does it add texture, color, but totally adds interest. In fact, people stop all the time and go, what is that plant? And of course, I smile. It's kale. And the reason I love kale is, number one, it's one of the easiest plants to grow, but it is so nutritious. It's one of the most nutritious foods on earth, loaded with vitamins A, C, and K. It has iron. It has calcium. Now, the beauty of this plant is that you can harvest it any time during the year and when everything else starts dying back in the fall this will be the last soldier standing and harvesting is simple starting at the base of the plant just snap off the stems all right this looks lovely are you ready for some dinner So kale comes from the brassica family, which means it's a cousin to cabbage. And I know what you're thinking, cabbage? Let me tell you, this is very different. Kale comes in a variety of shapes, textures, and colors. Some leaves are soft and tender, but most are large and a little tougher, and sometimes even coarse. They can be smooth, like what we had growing in the garden, or they can be curly. This is the one I love to cook with. You can eat kale raw, you can juice it, you can steam it, you can add it to soups, but I love to use it in salads. And the beautiful part about using this curly variety in a salad, it doesn't wilt after a day or two. Typically, most lettuces, when you dress them, they don't last very long and they're kind of slimy the next day. Not with this. Let me share you the recipe. This recipe is super simple. You'll need some kale. I've got the curly leaf variety here, which you can pick up at the grocery store if you haven't grown it. Dried cranberries some toasted chopped walnuts. These are the king of the nuts. They're very, very nutritious. Some balsamic vinegar and olive oil and some crumbled blue cheese. So we're going to start by removing the stems um, from the kale. So what I like to do is and literally strip the leaves off the stem like so. Super simple. A lot of people save their stems if you like to juice. You can pop that in the juicer. You could use it uh, for vegetarian broth, or I put mine in the compost. Now, the next thing we need to do with this curly kale, you need to chop it up in small pieces because it is kind of thick and chewy. So we want it small, and so it's very nice in the mouth. Okay, so that looks pretty good. You can see it's in pretty small pieces. And then we're going to put this into our salad bowl. In my kitchen, you learn very quickly, I don't use measurements. It's all kind of by eye. So the first thing we're going to do is add some of these dried cranberries. So I'm just going to sprinkle that over the top. We can always add more later, but this is kind of what it's going to look like. Now we'll add some toasted chopped walnuts. If you prefer another nut, go ahead and have at it. Again, just sprinkle these. I kind of like to overdo this a little bit because I love walnuts and they are so nutritious. Now we'll dress it, starting with the olive oil. I'm going to just go across the top three times. Then with the balsamic vinegar, I'm going to do the same, but half the amount. One, come back a half, so that's one and a half. Now we're just going to toss this. That looks really good. Now we're going to add the blue cheese. And again, add what you prefer. So I'm just going to be a little bit generous because I love blue cheese, like so. And then gently toss that in. Wow. Beautiful and so tasty. Lunch, dinner, and breakfast. Staying healthy in the garden, and I mean healthy. I'm Rebecca Coles.